In this quick tip, we're gonna go over how to properly hang a bear bag. Now, when I say bear bag, what I mean is any bag of food that you have with you when you're camping overnight that you wanna keep away from any sort of animal, whether it be bears, squirrels, raccoons, whatever. Um, more typically, you're gonna be trying to keep it away from not bears, but it's just, it's called the bear bag because that's the largest thing you wanna keep it away from, I guess. So in order to do this, the equipment we need are two carabiners and 50 foot uh, parachute cord, which you can get at almost any you know, sporting goods store. Part of this process is selecting the correct tree branch. So I see a tree branch up there that it, it looks both um, like it's isolated well, and it's also easy to hit, like if I want to throw something at it. So uh, that's gonna be a good branch for me. It also, it also looks strong enough to hold whatever bag it is I'm gonna put up there. So the first thing we're gonna do is get a rope tied around uh, a weight, and we're gonna use a stick for that that we find on the ground, and then we're gonna throw it up there to get a line over that branch. Okay, this is where the interesting start part uh, starts. So we wanna grab the end of our rope that went over the top of the branch because it's the shorter end. I'm gonna reach over and grab the other side of the string that's coming down on the other side of the branch. Pull that down until I have not a lot of um, you know, thread left. I'm actually gonna wrap this around my finger once or twice to make sure I don't lose it because you don't always get it on the second shot and it can be a real pain in the butt sometimes. So you don't wanna like pull on this and have it go flying over and then you gotta do it over again. So I'm gonna wrap this around our finger and I'm actually gonna pull this up as high as I can, get my arm relatively straight. Now for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna do this where the camera can see it. So I'm gonna bring it down a bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna create an anchor point in the long end, not the short end tied to my finger. So I'm gonna create basically a loop and I'm gonna just do a knot with that loop. So going around back, pull it through, and I have a loop. And this is gonna act as the top of my pulley system. So now I have that, and I'm gonna reach into my pocket, grab one of the carabiners. Let me get this one tied around my finger again. And I'm gonna take that carabiner and clip it through the loop. So now this is the top of our pulley is this carabiner. Now I'm gonna take the second carabiner and get it ready. Get my finger looped back on. Now I want to take this carabiner, open it up, put it over the rope that's hanging down from my anchor. So now I'm holding up my carabiner and I'm gonna take this little top of this loop put it through the carabiner that I'm holding in my hand. So now I have a pulley system. So if I pull down on this, you can see it's all connected. If I pull on both, it's not going anywhere. It's, it's firm. Now that I have my pulley system set up and created, what I want to do is move the anchor of my pulley, which is this, up high enough that it's, it's, it's up and out of the way, um, you, you still want to keep it a few feet away from the absolute top, like the branch that you threw it over, because if you, when we pull this all up and get it all hung with our, with our bear bag, the bear bag is going to be hanging from our anchor. So if it's too close to the branch, it's going to be too close to the tree trunk, you know, squirrels will be able to get in there, actual bears, whatever it is. So we're going to pull this up now and we're gonna keep this just a few feet from the end of that branch. So I'm doing that by pulling down on the short end. So now I have, you know, this, this the dangling line and the, the bottom carabiner. I'm gonna pull this down a little bit more and I'm just lifting it up so you can see it. And I'm gonna tie temporarily the dangling end to the carabiner. This is just so that we don't lose it while we're messing around with the rest of the system getting it ready. Okay, so now I've, uh, I've pulled this down, I've got it in place. We're anchoring off the top part of the pulley system. So we're gonna basically hold this here, hold, this, hold the, the long end to the tree. 
we're gonna wrap it around the tree. Okay, so I got it wrapped around. What I'm gonna do is I have, you know, my dangling end. I'm gonna wrap it around this rope that's, that's going against the tree. And I'm gonna pull it down and it's towards me. So it's coming towards me. This is basically the start of our knot. To finish this off, we're gonna do two or three half hitches. So if you know how to do a half hitch, then you know how to do this. Okay, so to do the half hitches, we're gonna take the dangling end, bring it back up, and, and you notice I'm holding it like a loop. Let me bring that down so you can see it. So I'm holding it, holding it over here, and I got the other end with this hand. I'm gonna go behind this top rope, come through, grab, the bite and tighten this up by pulling this end. And if I pull it tight enough, there's a knot, that's, a, that's one hitch. I'm gonna do this again. Bring this bite, or bring this loop out, come around the rope, this time the opposite direction, pull it tight, and that's my second hitch. Again, we're going to come back out, go around back, this time we're on back before we were around front, now we're on back, we keep alternating, and pull it tight. Now if I tug on this, that's not going anywhere, that's pretty solid, those knots are there. By using the half hitches, it makes it really easy to take apart when you're done. And I guess we'll get to that uh, as soon as we're done setting this fully up. So there we have the dangling uh, carabiner, and if we follow the system up, that's the anchor, and then that's the tree branch that we threw it over. So we have uh, this all set up and ready to go. Now we can take our bag and get it on there and get it tied up into the tree. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my backpack as the example food bag. So to get this on here is really easy. One of the advantages of this method is you can set it up when you get to camp, and then when you're tired and wanna go to bed and hang your food, there's not a lot to do. So I'll take whatever strap I have uh, on, on my backpack, it's gonna be the main one. And I'm just gonna clip the carabiner to it. And then I'm gonna take this knot that's on the carabiner and untie it. And now I have that free. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap it around my hand so that I have a good grip on it. All I need to do now is just pull and it's gonna pull it up into the tree. Okay, so now we've, we've pulled it back to the tree we wanna anchor it at, right? So we're going to get the slack out. We're gonna take the long end, wrap it around the tree, and now we're gonna use the friction of the tree to hold the bag up. We're gonna to continue to pull the rope in until it's, it's hovering where we want it to be. And now we're gonna go all around the tree one more time. And the friction on most trees with the bark will be plenty at this point to hold it. So now I'm not holding it really tight. I'm holding it a little bit, but not super tight. And now we're gonna repeat the exact same step that we did when we anchored off the uh, top carabiner, where we're going to do a loop around the back to create the anchor for our knot. And now we're gonna do three half hitches. And that's it, now we have our bear bag hung up in the air. It's relatively safe, nothing's foolproof, but it's relatively safe. And uh, we can go to sleep and wake up in the morning and we'll still have food, which is always a plus, especially when you're way out in the woods somewhere. I'm about 5'9", so you can see this is a decent decent height up in the, in the air. Um, I'd say at least, I don't know, eight feet, if I were to estimate. If you want it higher, you would just use a higher branch, uh, but depending on the trees around, there may not be a suitable branch available, so you kind of have to just work with what you have. All right, so now that we've got our system set up, let's say it's morning time now, we want to take it down. So this is the line that's, that we pulled away from the anchor tree. So the anchor tree, is over there with the with the load and the branch and it's tied off 
around that tree over there. So to get it down, it's very simple. Since we used all slip knots, all we have to do is pull the line and slowly release it. If I have more than one hand, because I'm not holding a camera, I typically try to keep the line away from the bark or, or not, not rubbing up against the bark when it releases as much as possible. Um, it's just nicer for the trees. So this method has been working out great for me ever since I've been I've been using it. I, just, I started using it when I was on the AT, which was uh, 12 years ago. It was 12 years ago. Um, so and I've you know I've been backpacking ever since and a little bit before then. So it clearly works well because I've never had anything get to my food uh, using this method. Once you've done this method a couple times, it's pretty easy to do, pretty straightforward and quick. The hardest part, typically, is taking the line and getting it thrown over that, that branch. Once that's done, the rest of the setup is simple. Um, so, you know, once you've done it a few times, it, it should work really well for you. I hope it does. If it does, let me know. I'd love to hear whether or not people are using this method and how it's working out for them. So, that's about all. Thank you for joining us for this episode. I uh, look forward to uh, hearing your comments, and I uh, hope to see you on the next one. See you later.